welcome to this class okay if you could remember previously we talked about introduction to computer we talked about the hardware aspect of a computer and the software aspect of a computer we also need to understand what you can do how you can feel the role of either being a software or a hardware engineer we also let you know about use of computer what computer is this for so today we want to go to the next phase okay like i told you we're going to take it little by little and gradually we'll get to where we are all going okay so what we have for this class today if you remember when i told you about use of computer i just want to say to you that please try your best to go through this read up and if you have any question i repeat any question for the work we've discussed so far do it slow feel free to ask okay do not waste time in asking your question when you ask you learn come over to us in our whatsapp group chat us up you can also visit our website cben.com you can also ask questions from there you can ask questions on our facebook twitter instagram whatsapp any place you can think of or youtube okay feel free to ask questions comment like and share and most importantly invite your friends invite your friends to come because we're going to we have a lot of lessons a lot of training for you and at the end of the day i tell you you'll be a computer guru hey you'll be a computer guru there's no doubt about that you'll be a computer guru so today we want to go into the characteristics of a computer characteristics has to do with character okay for example for those who know me say emmanuel i know emmanuel character Man, I can do this, but I cannot do that. Oh, man, it's like this. It's straightforward. Is this? It's not straightforward. That is characteristics. Someone's character. Now, talking about computer, what are the character of a computer? What are the characteristics of a computer? Yeah, we define them in so many areas, but we want to talk few of them. Okay. So, computer. If there is a computer, there is a motherboard in between, and the middle there is the central processing unit. So we are not going to open it for you, but for here you can explain a few things, okay? That processing you need, you can see some of the cards here, you know, your memory card is somewhere around there and stuff like that. So this computer, what are his characteristics? The first characteristic of a computer is speed. Yeah, computer can process millions of instructions within a second, per second. Millions of what? Instructions. And that is what makes computer from every other thing. Think of your phone, for instance. I'm sending message on my WhatsApp. You are sending your WhatsApp. Everybody you send on his WhatsApp. You know how many emails would I send to your WhatsApp at every given second? But the moment you press send, what do you see? Fiam, the message has gone. A few seconds or minutes later, you see Mark. If the person is there to read it. That is speed. The person that's reading that message might be in UK. It might be in US, can be in Canada, can be in Australia, any parts of the world. Within seconds, you send a message, it's got in there. You want to make a phone call. As the phone is ringing, as the person is speaking, you're hearing the person, the person is hearing you. Speed. That's characteristic of what? A computer. Now, from speed, we go to accuracy. Yeah. Computer can perform millions of tasks or calculations with the same consistency and accuracy. No mistake, no error. But you might ask, how come then somebody will send me a message and I will read the message and I will see some mistakes? Of course, yeah, you may see some mistake there. Or somebody running a program for programmers. After programming some things because of the code, probably some they will see some errors, like syntax error and the rest of them. Of course, you see all these things. So how come? Yeah, it's very simple. That's what you call garbage in, garbage out. In other words, computer on its own can't think. It is what you give to the computer that's going to bring that for you. If there's any error, the error is man error, man made. The error is from man and not from the computer. Okay, so computer doesn't make any mistakes because computer bring out what you give him. It doesn't even think, you know. You know, it doesn't think. So the nice thing about computer is versatility, versatile, versatility. Okay, computers can perform a wide range of tasks. Call it multitasking. You know, you might you won't be wrong. Okay. For example, now I'm talking to you, I can open another place, I'll be watching movie, or I can be typing something, I can be sending messages, you know, computer is that if you're able to control your mind and do so many things in computer at the same time, you can do it. While talking to you, somebody else may be using my computer now to be sending a message. It's possible. Somebody else will be waiting to watch a movie. So computer is versatile. Let's just take it that way. 
Then the next step is reliability. Computer is very, very reliable. Computers are reliable in terms of operational performance. Okay? Any operation you give to the computer, it performs it accurately well. Yeah. Then those are the memory components, for example, the memory aspect of it. So computers have memory, and this memory helps them to store data and instructions. For example, maybe you are typing a message, and before you know it, the light went off. Bam. Maybe your system does not have a good backup system. And maybe the light goes off. What happened? The system shut down. Do you know that for some laptop, for some computer, by the time you own it back, when it's boot up and come up, it will ask you to retrieve. Right? You want to go on Microsoft to tell that there's some part of it that does not save. Click here to save it or click here to open it. So, why is it able to do that? Even though you cannot think, it's because of the memory. Those things were stored in the memory. And that's why, by the time we get to memory proper, I will tell you about the two types of memory. The one that can process store data for a very few seconds, and one that can store data for a very long time. Okay? But for now, take it this way. We are still on introduction. The next part is storage. Just like memory, when you store something in memory, make it to, you know, in very fast, like memory card, make it fast. Story two can also make you, after doing what you're doing, you store it. Then imagine this scenario that you, after you've typed, you've programmed, you've done a lot of things, you and there's no place to store it. You know what happened? Tomorrow you start all over again. What if it's a project? So the storage capacity of a computer is very, very good. Computer have storage devices and they help them to store data. Why the memory help them to store instruction? Don't forget, memory is for instruction, why storage is for data. Why sometimes the memory may store data but in very few seconds, okay, it doesn't last long. Then automation, automation. Computer can perform tasks automatically. Automatically, it doesn't waste time. Don't like doing multitask, everything you are doing here, everybody that's my tasking on computer, everything is going at the same time. They go with the speed of light, like a flash, you know. So, those are some of the major characteristics of a computer. Let's take a diagram here. If you check here, you see the diagram completely. You see a laptop, I saw a laptop. All these things I mentioned are all there, you know. Come over here, high performance computer, desktop computer system, computer system component, you know. So, you take your time, cross check all of these, read them up. Okay, and most importantly, don't forget our handbook. Our handbook is like a guidebook. It will help you to know all this information, the speed, the accuracy, storage, automation, and what have you. There are so many of them. I actually listed them here for you and with a few explanations. Okay, so having said that, let's move to the next one. That's to do with the history of a computer. Let's give you a brief history of a computer. Not just history per se, generally, but in the area of generation of computers. How does computer evolved? How does computer come to us? That is where we are going right away. Okay, we still have some few minutes, so let's continue. Maybe we'll stop it and then finish it up in our next class, okay? So, talking about generation of computer, computer has gone undergo various stages, okay? Computer has undergo what? Various stages. Different history. The first generation of computer was developed from 1940 to 1956. And this was the second generation that came in 1956 to 1963. And there comes the third generation from 1964 to 1971. Why the fourth generation from 1971 until present? And then we we'll now start talking about the fifth generation. We we'll now start talking about AI, artificial intelligence. Okay? Now, I just explain them briefly. But in my notes, I cover every aspect of it, okay? From the first evolution of computer, you see how computer is then, when it was first evolved. This is it. When you say evolved, I'm talking about, uh, what is it called? I'm not talking about uh, evolvement like as if it came by chance. No, okay? So, you're not talking about evolution, okay? So, you see the third generation of computer? This is how computer is. This is the picture of how computer was during that first generation, okay? From there, it keep on moving, keep on coming, closer and closer, closer and closer, you know, to start getting something like this, which is the fifth generation. To start having something like this, start having something like this, okay? You know, and that is how computer keep evolving, okay? Keep evolving, you know, you also see the names of those who involve it. 
their characteristics, what differentiate the first generation from second generation, from second to third generation, and stuff like that. Okay, and how big it was, and how simpler it is right now in our time. Okay, so you see all these things when you by time you go to my notes and cover the note properly. Okay, and then you now come to the future one that talk about AI and the rest of them. So I would like to employ you to take your time, read this up, and then I will also give you an assignment on this. Okay, I would like you to write briefly because this is where you are stepping this, this class for now. So on our submission group, I want to write briefly on generation of computers. Okay, and in that brief note, talks about the technology, examples, characteristics, and uses. One, the third generation. What is the nature of his technology? What are the examples of third generation of computer? And what are the characteristics of third generation of computer? And what are the uses of third generation of computer? So explain them one after the other till you get to the fifth generation of computer, okay? That's an assignment for you. Kindly go through, read it, and solve. And also tell me about the component of a computer and why you like the component of a computer. And also explain to me five uses of a computer. And then give a brief note about how computer what makes computer much more better than every other te things or technology that you can think of? Okay, so these are your assignments. Can you go through them, solve them, and bring it out for us to discuss together on our WhatsApp group? Okay, or you can come over for those who are close by. We talk all these things together. See you in our next class. Thank you so much for listening for today's class.